Hello YouTube, GamerDad here. This is going to be video number 28 in our 2D Space Shooter tutorial series in XNA 4.0. Um, it's going to be the last um, of our videos of, in the uh, working on our states and uh, we're going to be covering the game Overstate this video. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys already finished it up because you kind of got an understanding of how states work now. But like, uh, like the previous video, I'm going to go over it anyways so we don't skip anything. Um, just as kind of a heads up on what's to come. Uh, I've been working really hard on on how to handle um, our power-ups. I don't know if I want to make you know a, a separate class for each type of power-up. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the easier way to go. I've been trying to work on just a power-up class with um, an enum with different types of, of uh, power-ups in it and then it randomizes one of those power-ups um, based on you know a random variable when an enemy dies or something and I can't get it to work right and to be honest there's not a whole lot of documentation on it uh, uh, you know searching Google and stuff like that and um, dreaming code and all that but I'll figure something out um, so with that if I don't figure it out in time for our next video the next thing we'll probably go over is there is I do want to make a video uh, to clean up our code um, I have you know I was going through all of our different classes and stuff today and I noticed there's there's um, some hard coded variables in there uh, that I want to change to regular variables so that we can um, call them by name instead of having to change the numbers um, somewhere in our code, you know, just buried in our code somewhere. So uh, that'll probably be the next video. Uh, but with with this video, we're just going to finish up our game over state. Okay, and it's going to be pretty simple, just like our last one where we were dealing with the menu. And uh, let's go. So um, we're going to start like we did in our last video. And we're going to create a public texture uh, up here and we're going to do all our work in our game one.cs. Okay, so let's create a public texture 2D. I'm going to call it game over image. Okay, um, go down into our uh, constructor. Game over image equals null, as good practice like we always do. Uh, and in our load content in our game one, let's set our image. I already imported um, my my image. I just did the same like I did for my uh, menu image, and just went into paint uh, .net and created a some text on there. It says game over and some uh, some other text with transparent background. And I already imported it, but uh, you guys know how to do that already. You know, right click your content, add existing item, find your image, and select it. Okay. Um, I guess I do have it in here, right? Uh, game over. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we'll open it with paint. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and it's kind of hard to see probably because I have yellow text, but when it's on our, it's going to be just a black background. That's another thing we need to change uh, to if it's up to you, but uh, you know how in our draw function it defaults to cornflower blue? Well, I change that to black. So you'll be able to see all this stuff. Um, and I'm going to use the escape key uh, to return to our main menu uh, to get out of our game over screen, okay? Um, so with that, okay, we created our our variable for our game over image. We set it to null in our constructor. And now let's uh, load it into uh, in our load content. All right, so game over image equals content dot load it's texture 2D. You guys are probably getting to be pros at this. All right, and I just called it game over. Okay. Um, next, uh, we can go down to our um, down in our update and to our where we're updating our game over, which obviously it's blank. Uh, yours might not be because you might have worked ahead. But uh, mine is still in the same state it was at the end of the last video. So um, let's start here in our update. And um, what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to want to get a keyboard state like we did last time. So get keyboard state, comment it, uh, just like the other ones. Keyboard state, we'll call it key state equals keyboard dot get state okay so it's picking up and looking for key presses um, every frame which is what we want alright and next we're gonna say uh, if 
um, key state that is key down and I like I told you I made it um, escape key uh, then we want um, one thing to happen uh, just like our menu uh, state when we hit the uh, enter button it goes to our playing state we're gonna say um, if we're hitting the escape key while we're in our game over state then we're gonna change the game state equals state dot menu so we're just gonna go back to the menu uh, when they leave their game over state okay and also one other thing we need to do is uh, what's gonna happen is uh, uh, we can put this anywhere in here so we'll just put it below here and we'll comment it stop music because if we don't we don't stop our music um, the song it's just gonna keep playing and it's gonna play right through into our menu screen because it's just gonna it's never gonna stop <laughs> So, uh, and it's very simple. I had to look this up actually, but it's just uh, media player dot stop, and that will stop our song, uh, our background song. Okay, uh, let's comment this too. Might as well. Um, if in the game over screen and user hits escape key, uh, return to the main menu. Okay and then we stop the music and that's it that's all we need to do for our update in our game over screen okay and then uh, notice like I said now we're in our draw here in our game one CS it it was by default um, graphics device dot clear color dot cornflower blue and I just changed that to black because uh, I'm not gonna have like a star field scrolling in the background for our game over screen I just want it to be a black background with my text over the top of it okay so I'm just gonna put this to black alright so go down to our draw um, and uh, for our state that game over and uh, what we're gonna do in here is we're just gonna draw uh, our game over image that we just loaded uh, a little bit ago so it's gonna be sprite batch dot draw um, it's game over image and uh, I, I did the same thing I just made um, the dimensions of that image uh, to fit my screen size so it's just new vector 2 and it's just 0, .00, 0, 0. so it's just gonna fill the screen and color dot white. Okay. And also, um, just as kind of like a bonus, I guess if you want to call it, um, I'm gonna just draw some text to the screen using our Georgia font, and um, and just tell them what our final score was, and just have that displayed up there too. So it's gonna say, you know, your final score was this, and then it's gonna, you know, just display our game over image as well. Okay, so it's going to be sprite batch dot draw string, um, and it's going to be HUD dot because remember that's where our font is at, and we called it player score font, and we're just going to say your final score was dash space um, close, and then plus um, HUD dot uh, player score uh, and we gotta say to string so it uh, puts the the score out to a string and then we're gonna place that I, I pre did this um, and found out the closest to the center based on the length of this string was on my screen and uh, with my dimensions at uh, 800 wide by 950 tall uh, it came out to vector 2 uh, about 235 on the X and 100 on the Y. It'll be different for you guys if you have a different screen dimensions than I do. So you just have to play with it until you can um, just you know keep changing these var these uh, variables. You know like log start the game, go and you know hit enter, go into your playing state, die right away, and then just see where your score is displayed on the screen. Okay, and then you just have to tweak it to fit the center of your screen, or you can have it anywhere you want on your screen. Really, I just thought it would be cool at the top and in the center okay and then I'm just gonna make that text color um, red so it's easy to see okay and uh, that's it there and uh, that's pretty much all we need to do except for one other thing uh, we need to tell it when to go to the game uh, game over state so uh, we're gonna go into our update function up here okay and uh, outside of our um, Actually, we can probably put it anywhere. So we'll just update it here with the rest of the stuff that we're updating. Okay. 
and uh, we'll say uh, let's comment this if the player health uh, um, hits hits zero uh, then go to game over state uh, game over state okay so basically what's going to happen is going to keep checking in our update and it's going to say well um, if our player hits zero health that obviously means he's dead right so we're just going to go to our game over screen all right so we're going to say if p dot uh, health uh, is um, less than or equal to zero then game state equals state dot game over okay pretty simple it's just saying if our player reaches zero health, we're going to go to our game over state. All right. And uh, that should should be it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, and I'm sure, you, like I said, I'm sure some of you guys went ahead and already did it because uh, we already got the menu state down uh, last video. And uh, it's basically the same thing except for adding this uh, this check here to see when we're going to go to our game over state okay and obviously we're going to do that when our player dies and later on we might say you know uh, we might have another variable in there like player lives like if he has three and instead of saying health we'll say when player lives you know is less than or equal to zero uh, then we're going to go to the game over state and you know we can just do another check to say if player health is less than or equal to zero then player lives you know minus minus so we'll deduct the player life and then when we have no more player lives left then we'll go to our game over state but we'll implement that later um, like I said, I'm trying to uh, get some fresh ideas on what else we can do with this game uh, before we finish up this series. And uh, from here on out, aside from like our power-up class, um, it's going to be a lot of cosmetic stuff to make it look better. You know, maybe I'll even do like a paint.net uh, tutorial video uh, in one of these uh, somewhere in here, just to kind of give you an idea of how to make uh, your own graph basic graphics. I'm I'm by no means uh, good at all. Um, at creating pixel art or anything like that but I do know the basics and I can make some you know uh, pretty basic looking stuff so with that let's save okay let's just go a quick run through here uh, what we did is we added a game over image variable uh, we came down here set it to null in our constructor uh, loaded its content here and then in our update for our, our game over we're just saying we're checking our keyboard state uh, we're going to say if, if, the, if the user hits the escape key while we're in game over, then it's just going to go back to the menu. And we're going to stop our music, okay? Because we want to stop that in case you guys put in some music for, you know, your menu screen, which I'll probably end up doing here soon too, just so it's not so lame. And uh, you'll want that other music to stop before you get back to your menu screen, okay? And then in our draw, all we're doing is we're going to draw our game over image, which is uh, just whatever you want to make in, in a, any kind of paint program or anything like that.